I don't know if you guys actually read the descriptions on these live streams, so I thought I'd kind of explain this one. Despite the fact that the Diamond Red Fox was now pretty much a week ago, I am still pretty burnt out from just all the Red Fox grinding, so I thought we'd go for a little bit of a chill hunt out here on Parquet Fernando, and actually kind of pick up where we left off with Friday's livestream, and pretty much just chasing Blackbuck, because I've talked for a long time about trying to get a gold leucistic and melanistic black buck in the lodge, and I think especially because they have their true horns now, it's a good time to actually work on that. So one place that I'm pretty confident we didn't get to is this lake right here. I'm kind of curious as well, and it wouldn't be that far a run if anything drinks there. There's the occasional lake on any map that just kind of every now and then start to get some zones, so we may go and give that a look. What's up, Sam? I don't know how to read either. The issue is I also don't know how to speak, and that can cause some pretty serious issues. Anyway, how's everybody's a Monday going? Gonna shoot the biggest males? I'm hoping so. I'm quite just relieved to be able to hunt whatever I feel like hunting again, because I really have felt the pressure pretty much for the last, I don't know, has it been over a month? Probably. Where it's been kind of hinted at and expected that we'd see a new map eventually. I really wanted to get that diamond red fox out of the way, so every time that I'd maybe see something I wanted to go hunt, like maybe somebody killed a, a cool rare and I wanted to go see if I could get lucky on that species as well, I'd end up chasing fox because I felt like I needed to do that. Oh, that's awkward, Kyla. Kick her to a shark, it'll be fine. Don't do that. Anyway, what's up, David? Finally uh, ended up having a Monday off from work so I can actually catch the stream on time. That's cool, man. Hope you're having a good Monday, then. Assuming if your Monday's off, then it's probably a pretty decent one. Hopefully so. I'm trying to... I know I had a couple of Black Buck drinks zones here, like, on an evening hunt one time. I'm trying to remember if there are any morning ones, but... It would be nice to clear pressure regardless of if we shoot Black Buck or maybe some Cinnamon Teal or something before we get off to the other lakes. Just sitting next to my car, just, just sitting there like, come on, out of my way please. It's fine. Excited to hunt the <laughs> pheasant optic shark? So am I, dude. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm only now realizing, hold on, I don't even need it. Let me disable, uh, where is it? This. It's still there. Did I do it wrong? I wanted to get rid of the like idling thing for the dog because it sort of is maybe making it difficult to read some of the super chats. But anyway, uh, F1 McLaren fan, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you, man. Hope you're doing well. Key your car. I just saw that. Don't don't do that. What's up, bottom boy? Had been the mail carrier had a package delivered. Oh, interesting. Do uh <laughs> do inform us with all details that you may acquire from this package. Beverly, thank you for the super chat as well. Do you know a really fast way to make money? I've been trying, but nothing is working. Uh, Fallow Deer Ante Aoroa might, the, might be the fastest and most consistent way to make money. You can do it from a really low level as well, which is quite nice. If you go, what's their drink time? 8.30 to 11.30, I think? Pretty much anywhere on the east side of the map, you're gonna see a ton of Fallow Deer. And just shooting as many of them as you can will do pretty good. Yeah, mountain lions as well, actually. Silver Ridge Peaks, if you go... What time? Six, six to eight, six to nine. A bunch of the lakes have mountain lions, and they give a huge reward. So that would be another good one. I don't see any black buck at this lake. I still want to go and explore the other one. Uh, for the sake of clearing pressure, maybe we can smoke that puma as well. It is a female, but... It could be one of those things where, you know, we get a rare female respawn and put it into the tactical espionage multi-mount one day. Finally, she leaves good. I know you have a, a drive home to make. What's up, Vision Frenzy? Good to see you, man. So happy I can finally make a stream. It's been like four months since I made a YouTube stream. I'm glad you can make it to this one, dude. It should be a pretty, I would say, action-filled one as far as Black Buck go. <laughs> Once we're done kind of exploring here and... I like to do this at the beginning of any individual run. Just, you know, spend, I don't know, 5-10 minutes running around, let all the black buck in other places get to their zones, and then hopefully it's kind of all smooth sailing from there. 
No worries, Beverly. Thank you for the super chat again. Hope that helps you. The new iCarly is top notch. There's a new iCarly? Wasn't aware of this. Access deer up there. Back to the AC? Oh, I bet, yeah. Pretty toasty today. What's up, MT? Good to see you, man. Hope things are going well for you. Nice little double lung there. I shot an albino cape buffalo an hour ago. Nice. Was it a male by chance? Is that a black buck track? I think so. Okay, there's two explanations here. Either we missed it, or the puma being there actually spooked it off. Both are just commons, or the black fur type in the case of black buck, but that is the common for a male black buck. If we can kill them, we will. I mean, I wanted to run this direction anyway. Good to know they do live in this area, just I think the puma mess with us. Shirts are amazing. Glad to hear it, bottom boy. Glad to hear it. Shot an albino puma. Nice. There was one. It was actually at this lake. Um, maybe a week or two ago now. I was getting to the kill mark of 33,333. And I wanted to do something kind of special for it. So I found this albino puma. And I was going to try to shoot it if I could get super, super lucky at 333.33 meters. I was just hoping to actually get 333 uh, with the 303. Like, I was, I was getting all the threes in there. Dropped it and everything. Couldn't claim it. Multiplayer did its thing. Couldn't claim it. It was a mythical, by the way. I don't know if I said that. And, uh, yeah, I ended up shooting a charging water buffalo later in a moment of... Uh, lapse of concentration, I guess, and I claimed it, so no special thing was done. What's up, Haxter? Do you ever duck hunt in real life? I don't. Um, I was having a conversation recently, though, with uh, someone that lives around here that was saying, like, they do it a lot, and it's one of their favorite things to do, so I may try to get into that. I think I'd like to. When I was tracking level 5 troll access here, I got two leucistic black bucks. Nice. You know, we had the, um... Was it a trailblazer beta? No, it was... I think a content creator beta, right? For the bloodhounds? I'm pretty sure it was. And, uh, along with it were the Truax black buck. They came out a little bit afterwards, and every leucistic gold that we've shot has had like uneven horns and I really really don't care for that so I want to get like a better leucistic as well I'm curious if yours was gold or if it had even horns I just find it odd that like all the leucistics have been uneven and I hope that's not for some reason a characteristic of them that is so good to hear bottom boy because like the white on gray when I've seen it digitally it looks amazing you can never know exactly how it's going to look, uh. you know, in person, but if it's even better, I am excited to eventually get my hands on such a thing as well. Who did I just see there? What's up, Eagle? On my way to work, have a great stream, gonna watch it later? Sounds good, dude. Hope you have a good day at work. And F1, thank you for the super chat once again. I really suck on the game, but is the Grell good? Uh, it's a good gun. There's a couple of things that kind of make it... I'll say subpar. For one, the 9.3, like the, the rifle ammunition, is classes 5 to 9. So you just can't take, at least you can't take ethically, any of like the deer species, the sheep species, goats, like all those class 4 animals kind of get... You can use buckshot on them because you have the 16 gauge buckshot, but there's just better options there. The one thing the 9.3 or the Grelk does is covers every single animal class with the birdshot, buckshot, and 9.3, but it just, it doesn't do any of them extremely well. That's the issue. So if you want something that's going to allow you to take any animal ethically, you can carry that. I would just carry multiple other weapons instead. Once COVID restrictions here loosen up, you should come to Canada for a waterfowl hunt. My cousin and I duck hunt a lot out of a canoe for wood ducks, steel, and mallards, and it's a blast. You know, that's the way I'd like to do it out of a canoe and not like a 
I don't know, it's ground blind or pop-up blind, wh whatever is normally done. I think in a canoe would be cooler. Do you think Rancho del Arroyo will be a good map for grinding whitetail? I think, given what I saw on the streams, there's not as much water as Leighton Lakes, and that means more concentrated drink zones, and I recall it being mentioned that the whitetail population on that map is quite high, so as long as the lakes are big enough, or as long as the herds are spread out enough, I think it's got really good potential to be a good grinding map, but we'll have to get on there to really determine that. Good loadout for Te Awaroa. Uh, you don't need any super large weapons. I'd probably run with like 303, 7mm, M1, any of those kind of weapons there. And then 243 and 22 will get you by. Looks like this is not a fantastic lake, but it's one of those ones that I've basically never checked and I wanted to give it a look. You know, I for some reason feel as though we had a black buck drink zone up here recently, so again before we go anywhere uh, else, I want to check. If there's nothing here, it's going to cost us like 30 seconds, but I'm almost sure we killed one. Like maybe two, three months ago? Got a diamond leucistic black buck? That's really cool. I would love to get something like that, especially with the true horns. Let's see. It was down there. No black buck? Alright. We'll get on to areas that should have many more than what we're seeing here. I'm a little confused about this particular zone, by the way. And also, when we were here on Friday, we shot a ton of huge motors, so it would be nice if we got some decent respawns. We'll kind of keep our eyes open for that. But... We sort of had these black buck in multiple different locations. One time we had them up here, and then one time we had them down like at this end of the big lake, so I guess we'll sort of check both. Hope you just a big one today. Love what you do. Thank you, man. I'm hoping we can manage such a thing. We'll see if the RNG is in our favor as far as respawns go. I really don't know how many black buck we killed on the stream Friday, but was probably upwards of 20, so might have something good in here. What did that say? Come back there, I saw it. Uh, water buffalo and a black buck? Wait. I saw something about it happen on somebody's map. Did you get a... Probably diamonds off water buffalo and black buck? Maybe that was the question that was asked. Missing something there, don't mind me. Um, Grand Parquet for the Diamond Collection Advancement. I have Muley and Buffalo left to go. I think both are very, very achievable. Uh, grinding Mule Deer on Parquet. Did I ever get a diamond in single player? I know I had a couple of, like, the messed up diamond racks. I can't remember. Yeah, we did get one. Down at this lake, so... Even without the mess-up rack, we've managed one. But Parquet is a pretty good map for them over Silverage Peaks. And then, as for Buffalo, it's nice they'll kind of charge you. It sometimes allows you to get extra mail shot and get even more respawns. Hopefully that can happen soon. Should go to Kentucky and collab with Kendall Gray. I know a lot of people wanted us to do, like, Call the Wild content together, but I just... Our content styles are so different. I don't know that that would go... Extremely well. Decided to go black buck hunting the other day, watched your guide, and got a diamond and a leucistic female. Nice, man. Glad the guide was helpful to you. There's a black buck over there, so I guess they just can't decide where they want to drink at. No big ones. We had sort of a mishap here. I can't remember if we shot a mule deer or like something happened that all the black buck fled. So we didn't really get to kill them all. I thought that I had set up a tripod for this zone. I guess maybe I took that down. Well, I have to be kind of careful, but I don't really think we're going to kill more than two anyway. They're kind of quick. <laughs> Jazzy claimed them all for herself. I mean, I don't blame her. They look good to me. Why does my 2019 version not work? It should work just fine. They're all the exact same game. The only difference between the versions would be, I guess, updates that have been added to the game and then DLCs that are included. 
that's the smallest level 4 black buck I've ever seen. Like, this 3 is almost definitely bigger. Similar estimates, but... I don't know, that's kind of lame. Let's take the 4 first anyway. It is the higher level. And then we'll try to catch the 3 on the right since it's more in the open. Ooh, a little bit quicker than we got our shot off. I'm not so sure the 4 was a lung hit either. Hopefully that was. Eh, not so much. That went horribly wrong. Okay, uh, for the sake of trying to move things along here, if we can, if you can pick a direction. Didn't even hit it. Listen, I'm gonna need you to not be so weird with your directions. Maybe he's down past the hill. I don't know, did either of those die? I almost feel like it's going to be better to let them go and come back on our second run through. Oh dear, we're typing. It's fine. Finally got a Euro Bison Diamond. Nice. Somebody posted one kind of recently and it made me want to hunt for one again. Yeah, they're still not dead. Let's uh, just, just fast travel away. It'll be fine. Do you like fishing in real life? I do. Uh, that's actually what we did yesterday for Father's Day. It was a good time. Have you even seen one of my comments? I, I mean, I saw that one. I've probably seen other ones as well. What's the highest diamond moose you've ever seen? I shot one that was 310 when they were bugged. The highest I've ever seen was like 316, but since they sort of reworked their scoring, right around 300 is the best I've seen. No purple, no go, no good. I was afraid that first shot, the angle was a little bit weird, we might have been a little low. I was afraid that might have been a flesh hit, and then second one got out of there, it's just, it all went downhill real fast. Not worth sticking around. This zone really does confuse me. Half the time, it seems like there's only black buck does over there. On occasion, I do manage to spot a buck, so I like to check it. We're gonna shoot like mule deer or something here regardless. Again, clearing hunting pressure from some of the other areas would be quite a nice thing. I'm not seeing, oh, there's one. Good. We'll take that. Hopefully we'll take that, actually. The way things have gotten to this point, I wouldn't have been too shocked if that went south, but we got that. Now, take a look across here. What's, like, the closest thing, just for the sake of saving time? Because we've done a bit of run around and not that much shooting. I guess a very tiny mule deer. <laughs> Should be a long hit on him with the 303. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the Mobile Gamer, thanks for the super chat. Just became a Master Schuster on your Patreon. Well, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Um, if you're already linked up with Discord and Patreon, then, uh, you know, disregard my comment here, but make sure you link that up. I think you do it through Patreon, actually, and not through Discord like most of the integrations. But uh, that'll get you the rule over there in Discord and all that good stuff. And again, thank you so much, man. What's up, Lucky? Haven't killed a diamond one yet? I don't even want a diamond one. I want rare golds. I mean, super rares to be, you know. <laughs> that'd be all right, but it's not even the goal here. Snakehead, what's up, man? Thank you for the super chat. So far, Verhunga, the only map that doesn't have true axe. Yeah, I'm curious what they're gonna attack next here. Gemsbuck are almost a logical choice because the horns are super straight and it, it would be pretty I guess standard variants, just some kind of bends and stuff like that. They did just do the black buck though, so maybe while they're, you know, working with these kinds of horns, Kudu would be the obvious choice. I don't know, regardless of what they do, I'm looking forward most to the Cape Buffalo. Water Buffalo, I think, got at least a little bit bigger with some of their true racks, and if the Cape Buffalo do, I don't care how many diamond capes we have in the trophy lodge, I am going to hunt them more and try to get more ones, because they're just such cool animals. I really like them. 
Excuse me. Guess we're too far away from the blood. What's up, Acid? Best gun for Turkey? I mean, sadly, the 22. It's just, it's one of those things kind of similar to duck hunting and just shooting them on the water. If you want to be the most efficient and kill the most, like the, the most, the biggest, the best, it's just 22 is the way to go. I wish that wasn't the case, but unfortunately it is. I think Rocky's kind of struggling with the blood over there. Have you ever gone bow fishing and where'd that go? If not, would you want to? Yeah, one day I think I'd like to. We'll just find the blood ourselves as uh, we keep on trying to get Rocky to help us, but not something I've gotten to do to this point. What do you think of the new gun? The 16 gauge uh, shotgun. Is that what it was, 16 gauge? Pretty sure. Um, I like the fact that it was pump action because it's going to be quick. And it was five rounds if I remember right. So I think it'll be a pretty good like pheasant and maybe occasional flying by turkey kind of gun. Oh. Those died. I mean, render glitch is going to gonna get rid of them. So what I've been told by multiple people is at this point of the game, if animals die, they you get your respawns, you don't have to claim them. Kind of forgot about that. I don't really care to do that intentionally, but I think in this case we'll uh, take advantage of the fact that that is the case. That's a bummer, David. I've done it too, though. Just missed one early, and then that's the only opportunity. You should just run away, Lucky. Outrun the heat. I have a 4.8 teal. Is that max score? It is, actually. 4.8 is max for teal and the turkey. Storms for the next 12 hours? What am I going to be getting into tomorrow? Sounds like scary times. I probably should say it again. I have a announcement in an upcoming video here about it, but uh, for those of you that are unaware, as there's a huge mythical <laughs> water buffalo over there, um, I think I have a 454 with no scope. Good. Anyway, uh, for the next week, including next Monday, there's not going to be any streams either on YouTube or Twitch. I'm headed to <laughs> Georgia, so... Uh, there's still going to be videos every single day, but just no live streams for a little while there. Jebediah, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate you. I ate a sock taco for lunch. What is a sock taco? I don't know if I want to know. wonder what the odds are that we can actually kill this. It looks big enough to make diamond. Just open sights 454 not my forte. Kyla's stealing me. I mean, I'm going willingly, but yes. Gonna get the GA stun. You should see the stun I got on my shoulders yesterday. <laughs> I intentionally, because I'm going to Georgia and expect to get absolutely roasted alive by the sun, I intentionally wore like a sleeveless shirt when we were out uh, fishing for Father's Day and I wanted to get some sun, and I, I certainly got more than I bargained for. Oh, I thought the 454 zoomed in. If he'll stop broadside, I think I can do it. Just need a little bit of luck on our side. Stop. Stop. Ooh, we hard shot him. Uh, what kind of... I can promise you I wouldn't hit a hard shot with the scope on that. Pure luck. Pure luck. Um, Beverly and MT, thank you guys for the super chats. What was the no with uh, many O's? Did I miss something there? Just stream SE? I mean, we could from her Xbox, I guess. Um, Snakehead, thank you as well. One of the things I like about the pheasants, uh, as this guy is, what, too shy of diamond? Oh no, not a hard shot, it was just spinal cord in there. Even better. Anyway, 
Uh, pheasants is the model because they could use it to make other game birds like grouse. Uh, yeah, and I mean, they had to do the hen models as well, so they're really like 90% of the way there for, yeah, like grouse, like you're saying. I think that'll be a pretty good deal. By the way, Ben, thank you as well. I just killed my first super rare. I'm known as the Kudu. Nice, dude. Uh, that Was that technically my first super rare? I can't remember. I had a Melanistic Diamond Kudu like forever ago. I really don't know if that was before or after the Albino Diamond Moose. Either way, they're a very cool one. Have to check that out after the stream. But nice, man. Michaela, thank you for the super chat and the sticker, by the way. Appreciate you. Black Buck, maybe? Uh. Uh, black bug female. I have no idea I've got it under. I don't have any information uh, more than you guys do on such things. I know, yeah, that's a decent one. I knew I saw one male in there. Is that another male? It's not like a darker color. We can fast travel back to the tent if we can't get a shot here. Yeah, there's a male there. That one's also dead, and that's a buck. Where were they hiding to get through there? I think he's going to be pretty well smoked. Not certain he might have somehow survived that, but we'll play more two and go back. It's about the, oh, about the streams, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Just, uh, you know, priorities. Is that the one that we just shot? No, it's not. It's a different one. That's the one that we just shot. He's he's doing great. I'm expecting maybe, maybe not. If he's going that way, I think the others will. That's the hope. That one's nervous there. That's the mule deer. There he is. I'm guessing about 250 for this. I hope I'm right. Yeah. Must have been close enough. Okay. Right click, please. Uh, did we claim? I don't even know. Did we claim both of these? I think we did. Pretty sure. So we can just fast travel and claim. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Old tent placement. I also didn't claim this one, so I guess it was a good thing. Uh, somebody asked if I'm in PA, by the way, and yes, I am. Hard shot that one. Nice. What's up, Hunter Man? <laughs> Apparently he's so lucky. I, I, I wasn't aware that's when it was happening. What's up, Mike? Thank you for the super chat. Look forward to your videos every day. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you, man. I will certainly do my best. Got a diamond and a piebald tail at the same lake. Nice. One thing that we don't have in the trophy lodge that one of these days I do want to get is a melanistic teal. They kind of look exactly like the piebalds, which makes it really tough to differentiate, but I want to get one. They actually seem properly rare, unlike most rare ducks. How did Kyla and I meet? Like, actually meet? Or... I mean, the first interaction, I guess, was pretty much her becoming a mod on the YouTube channel here. As far as how we actually met, uh... Picking her up at an airport. Where is... Oh, they're side by side. Cool. TK said that he's going to do the fly around tomorrow, but the... Oh, okay. So he said that before... Anything went down there? Gotcha. Uh, I think we better stay on this side. I wanted to run down the left side, but I think we did that last time and killed basically nothing. So we'll stay on the right. <laughs> Connor Law, thank you for the super chat as well. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Was there another another male got away? I don't know how we couldn't even see him in there. It's always the 24th? Yes. Meeting in an airport. The story of, uh... 
you know, how we ever got acquainted is much better anyway. Strictly business. Oh. <laughs> Go figure, Empty. Maybe we'll, you know, cross by in the sky. I'm not sure what day you're flying there. What happened in the EW stream yesterday? They don't stream on Sundays. Go to level 3 turkey with a 4 to 5 estimate. I don't think they can have a 4 to 5 estimate. I'm almost certain the estimate Max is at 4.8? Unless, well, they're random now. Would it have been? I've never seen that. Did you screenshot it by chance? The first, okay. <laughs> is that so, Kyla? We're doing pretty good at uh, sticking to those parameters, I must say. Um, is that pronounced Deacon? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I do somewhat remember the name because I feel like I've struggled to say Deacon before. But uh, also I have better luck finding whitetail feed zones than drink zones on Layton. I've experienced some of the same. Uh, if you're killing them in their feed zones, stick with their feed zones. But if you do want to find drink zones, I would just set it to their drink time. If you have to, just, you know, put on some music like a YouTube video. Don't worry about shooting any whitetail you see. Just run around to every body of water, look for tracks, try to spot them. Just try every possible place that they could drink, because they got to be there. No rares and no decent ones. Not a good spot for them to drink either. What did we hit? I don't know. I thought that was a good shot. Um, Connor, thank you again, by the way. I love your vids. I've been following since 50k. That's a long time ago by now. And what are the best times for a whitetail deer? Generally speaking, 12 to 1500 is their drink time, so that's when I would probably go after them. I just for a second there saw a buck. They'll probably go nervous soon. They're all really tiny, but I don't know. If we can get an easier shot at them, which I think we're going to, that I would be more keen to actually take. Need one buck to step out in the open. Does milling around everywhere, naturally. Where'd they all go? It looks like they're trying to go back, so I would assume the bucks are going to do the same. What time is it? 11.35. Maybe they're not trying to go back. Kind of doing a little bit of both. And yeah, Puma's messing with them. Alright. We tried. I think there's one more black buck drink zone up here, so we'll more worry about that one. 23 sales. Nice, Kyla. Love your vids. I am probably going to get in trouble for watching the stream while doing school. Well, uh, what can I say? I appreciate that you are doing that. Just, you know, don't get in trouble. I don't want to be the reason for such things. There's a buck back in there. Wasn't even trying to kill one at this point, but why not? Wait, I was about to take a shot. Maybe we can get two. I don't know what the range is, I'm guessing here. It can't be that far. Yeah, I thought that was behind a tree. Should have probably planned a little more, but I know that Puma's over there and I figured it would spook him again. Win hats. Yes. This is a, a business trip. Obviously. Working on hats. By the way, Call of Duty is currently 76% off on Steam. Well, anybody that's been maybe looking at the game on PC and considering getting it, if you weren't aware of that sale, 
probably now is a good time to go and pick it up. There you go, Ben. A new hat and hoodie, stay lucky. Interesting. As it wants a hat as well. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can uh what we can do there. I've only like I, I've seen some of what excuse you. I've seen some of what uh you know goes into all that, but I haven't gotten to see as much of the process, so I'm quite intrigued to get to be a part of that. What map should I hop on in multiplayer? Let's see, uh Yukon. I was a little bit wanting to chase an albino grizzly today, but I didn't want to get anything, you know, too lofty goals wise since we just spent forever chasing a legendary fox. Why is that interesting? Because it is. I thought that was a mule deer. <laughs> Looked huge for a second. Anyway, uh, somewhere roughly in this area, there should be. Another... maybe it's there? Nah, I mean, it's not the one I'm thinking of. There might be a zone there. So where are the black buck at? This is why I need more tents. I barely know where my zones are. It, it all got shifted around, I think, at some point after the bloodhounds. I heard one. As for where it was, I have no idea, but I heard one. When will we see a flannel? That's a good question. You are an interesting human being. Correct. What's up, Wyatt? Been here since 10k. When was 10k? That would have been 2017 sometime? Quite some time ago. What is max score online? It is, in fact, 50. There they are. So they were just hiding back in there. There's a book. Hit him anyway. Smoke that one, excuse me. <laughs> Just pushed me around and died. Rude. Um this is this is not how this usually goes, but I'm not complaining. Do you wanna slow down? I'm sure he wants to. That should do enough, and for the sake of not deleting a zone. One more shot to make sure he goes down, but we'll just be happy with the three. That was pure luck. Are there any Discord moderators in here? Probably. What's max for Grizzly? I think 69 on the dot, actually. It's quite the quite the move by the devs. The in-game music is interfering with the other music. I have the normal in-game music off, but uh, sadly you get some of the the music for like harvest and stuff. Yeah, first shot was good. I think that's yeah, barely, but it was far enough outside the the other hunting pressure to not delete the zone. Nice indeed. What a move. Any place I can picture? Yeah, any place I can picture? Post a picture of my Leucistic Diamond Black Buck. If you're in my Discord, there's a text channel, or I guess just a channel, for Call the Wild trophy shots and other, you know, Call the Wild related pictures. You can drop it in there. How rare is a piebald coyote? Pretty rare, actually. I've had two? No, three. We killed a random piebald female once on stream, and then I think we had two different Highballed golds, if I'm correct. How's the 200 white tail grind going? I've been a little bit busy with prepping for uh, going to visit Kyla, but as far as, you know, classic stuff's going, we had those two rares yesterday, so I was quite pleased with such results. My aunt recently shot a melanistic pheasant in real life and was wondering if you've ever been pheasant hunting. I have not. I'd like to go. I think that could be a lot of fun. I know when I was younger, my friend had a couple of beagles and they would do it a bit, but I never got to go with them. 
Yeah, there's a whole nother herd of black buck here. I'm sure they spooked. It's past the end of their drink time anyway, which means they're not going to come back. But I know where they go, roughly. If they did the thing they usually do, they ought to be in sight still. What's up, TTV? Tips for the Great One grind? I mean, the best I can tell you is... You know, find all your zones and be super consistent and try to be super efficient as well. Yo dear duckos. The black buck, I know we spooked him a while ago, so they might be sort of beyond. Yeah. That was one. It's kind of the area they usually end up at. It's a bunch actually. None look big or rare to me. That's one of the better ones, I think. Maybe even better there. All, I mean, there's a ton of males, but all kind of smallish. They're kind of stopping and then still fleeing, too. I don't know what that's about. Take our shots when we get them. I wouldn't mind one other. Just... Ooh. Excuse me. Didn't know you were in there. That might have been a long... Nah, definitely not. Alright. Hopefully I was going to bring him down. He's starting to drop, so I think it will. If you kill a 200 typical in classic, so you don't cheat me out of this during July, I will become a tier 3 sub. So I don't cheat you out of this? What do you mean? I don't understand the second part of that. Why did... Somehow knowing that this was a max weight track and then the bleed rate, I guess because we shot it, showed up. The fact that it said medium made me think that was a level 5 diamond. It was not. If we get tired of typing constantly. For reference, um, so we have Nightbot in the streams here to somewhat take care of things like caps and emoji spam and those sorts of things. He also tracks the total number of messages sent by, I think, everyone. And every week, I see, like, the previous week, how many messages, like, the top chatters had. And Kyla's always at, like, almost 300 over a two-hour stream, which is insane. All the messages, and it is greatly appreciated. Kill a 200 and call the wild and say it's a 200, because that's easier. Oh, okay, I gotcha. You're saying specifically a 200 whitetail in classic in July, right? I think that's it. Is an albino lion a thing? It is, monster. I've been thinking you can get Forza Horizon 4 through the Xbox companion, uh, what, on PC and play with Xbox players, so I'm wondering if maybe you can do the same with SE. I don't think you can yet. I've seen their, um, the roadmap. They have it posted on Steam somewhere. And they had cross-platform, I think it was meant to be, why do I keep doing that? Typing in single player is so odd. Uh, sometime in September was their projected, like, you know, release of that. If we keep on seeing them, we'll keep on killing them. I only see those, though. There's a buck. Might as well. If we can raise our weapon anyway. Raise our weapon to be a good, upstanding citizen. Just got Quattro. Any advice on how to get more diamonds? Uh, specifically on Quattro on the Ibex. They make diamond pretty frequently. Bethides and uh, Southeast rooms especially. Then Mouflon tend to be pretty good on that map as well. They drink... Uh, 6 to 9 a.m. I think it's Red Deer 5 to 9. I'm pretty sure Mouflon are 6 to 9. And then Ibex are 8 to 11, by the way. Keon. I can't even say that. Keep on seeing and keep on killing. Keon? Not Keon. Not it. Is that a ranger rifle with a polymer tip? Yeah, that's what I'm using for all the black buck. I would be using the Mosin, but we tested it on Friday. It definitely still has issues. 
it's more of a scope zoom issue than anything. Like, if you're zoomed all the way in, the accuracy is okay. If you zoom all the way out, not only is it pretty far off, it's inconsistently far off. And there's plenty of times, either really far away or really close, where I zoom the scope all the way out, and I'm just not willing yeah. to lose the, uh, you know, whatever potential kill we might by using the Mosin instead. Connor, thank you for the super chat again. Diamond Roosevelt Elk Weight. The track you're looking for would be 440 to 500 kg. They need to be around 475 to make diamond. It's sometimes that will end up being like a huge 4 or a troll 5, but that's kind of the, the minimum. How rare is the piebald elk? Piebald Rocky Mountain elk are borderline uncommon. You see a lot of those. Piebald Roosevelt's are quite rare. What are you most excited to hunt on the new map? The pheasants definitely, Havelina are really high on my list. I think I've been talking about a, uh, you know, a North American desert map for forever and I keep on saying, like, the species that I'd like to have added, and Javelina were always one of them, so I think that might be the, the one I'm most excited for. I don't know what I missed. I saw multiple references to it, but I didn't see actually what it was. Oh. Schuster, shoot. What do you do? Should I go to cystic reindeer today? Nice, Oscar. That was another thing I considered doing today was the reindeer grind, but I continue to think, and especially because uh, the render glitch was one of the ones mentioned in one of EW's live streams as being uh, like a, a fix with this upcoming update. I, I want to wait until the render glitch is fixed to do the reindeer grind because there's so many long shots. Medved's a map that's got those huge frozen lakes you can shoot across, and too often you're going to lose stuff to the render glitch if you're hunting like really efficiently, so I think we're better off waiting. Is it gonna rain again, Aston? I was not aware of this. Burnt my cookies and messed up a diamond feral goat. We've all done such things. The nice thing is there are a lot of level five feral goats out there, so hopefully there's another one uh, with your name on it waiting on you. Let's see if we can smoke that real quick. I've been seeing this one and a mythical around for quite some time. I really want to get the respawns, but I just never have the chance to actually shoot them. Slow down, please. Any day now. Yeah, of course. Right when I, for one, can't hit you, and for two, can't even see you. Did we get that? Yes. Cool. Is a 104.1 a big male prong boy? That's about as big as they'll get, yeah. I don't think there's ever been a 105 shot. There's been a ton of 104s, but nothing, you know, that cracks 104.9. How long does the mountain goat grind last, you think? The one trying to get like a, a Melnus of gold or a gold rare in general? I would guess that'll be, it, it depends on how much time we can really commit to it, but probably the kind of thing that lasts a month or two. I don't think Melnus mountain goat are as rare as they seem. It's just that getting one that actually makes gold could be a bit of an issue. I, I could see us killing like three before one makes, makes gold. The brush on parquet irks me more than any other map and gives me more problems than anywhere else. You know, it's got a lot of tall brush, and it's also got a lot of really short species. You've got puma, you've got black buck. Axis deer's antlers stick out better now than they would have in the past with the with the brush, but just yeah, I feel it. Stuff hides pretty well here. Max weight for a white tail deer, 100 kg. Easy one to remember, same as fallow deer. Uh. Oddly enough, they don't have the same estimates, though. Whitetail are 85 to 100 at the max. 
fellow deer are 82 to 100, and I, I just don't understand why they did that. Okay, it seems like this lake's just simply not gonna have any black buck spawns, so we shall head elsewhere. I think I want to look here again. Um, plastic, I might just stay in there, right? Thank you for the super chat. Max weight for Stika deer, they are actually the same as Axis deer at 75 kg. And they're one that, uh, they do have the same estimates. So 62 to 75 kg is the max. Same exact as Axis deer. Okay, I refuse to believe that there's not a single black buck here. They've been spawning so well. How are they just gonna do that to me? You know what happened last time, though? We had a couple of tracks up here. We never did see them. What if we go around the far side? Maybe if we just spot back this way, there'll be one. The way that we killed our first, I guess even, uh, diamond true axe red deer was spawning here, running away and looking back and seeing a legendary fleeing. So we know they can drink back in this area. Check money, don't know. Holy. Uh. Roach, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Appreciate you, man. Just got out of the Marines a little while ago. Well, thank you for your service, man. Uh, so now I have time to tune into streams. Moving to Arkansas next month. Scrolling too fast for me to read it. Uh, hoping for a good hunting down there. Love the content. Grind on. Thank you, man. I will do my best and best of luck with all that. I would pretty much uh, expect that to be good hunting. Hopefully it is for you. That's what I was hoping to hear. So our tent location is going to have to move. I hope he comes down near the water to drink. He should. But it's kind of hard to say exactly what he's doing up there. He could be passing through, technically. We'll just take it slow and keep our eyes open. What is a big diamond mule deer? Uh, 3.30. We need a map with whitetail, moose, black bear, fox, wolves, geese, and pheasant or grouse. It snows sometimes, like it does on Yukon. A whitetail map that snows like sometimes. Like some kind of running whitetail behavior, I think would be pretty cool. Sounds like something I could pretty much get behind. I think the lack of new species on that would make it difficult for EW to really, you know, sell it and hype it up. But if they were to add, like some kind of rutting behavior or mechanics I think that's where there's the potential to get people's interest because a huge percentage of the community especially with great ones but even before that a huge percentage did hunt whitetail and I think a huge percentage wanted more out of the whitetail so I think there's a uh, there's potential for that kind of thing another black buck coming in from that side if we could smoke him that would be good What's up, Zach? Just got a diamond blacktail? Nice, dude. Wisconsin would be good for that. Do they have moose? Do black buck have lungs? I've not done too well with that today. Just for the sake of... Boy, he's a resilient bugger. <laughs> I want to kill it. So that it doesn't get out of render, because we got to go back and claim the other one. Uh, okay. Plan. Keep him spotted until he dies. Which is now. Then mark where he died. We are going to have him de-render. But because we know exactly where he went down at, we ought to be able to claim him and still... He might not even be out of render, but uh, we ought to be able to claim him and still... Uh, get the rewards for it, even though it's going to do the weird harvest green flash thing. Plans for 300k subs? Pretty much the same as we've done for like 100 and 200k. We'll do a 24 hour stream on Twitch. Probably some kind of little, you know, video talking about all such things as that. And I don't know, maybe just because it happens to be a caliber in the game. I might do some kind of special 
300 thing too. Nice, Martin. You know, there's been a ton of Diamond Red Fox shot around the community lately. Maybe I've just noticed it more because, uh, you know, I've been focused on such things. But I saw Johnny killed a huge one recently. You have yours there. I think there were like 10 that were posted in my Discord in the last couple of weeks because there was like a hashtag make Flinter cry every time a Diamond Fox got posted, which was lovely. How much money do you have? We're sitting at... Hey, we crossed 9.5 million. I got this weird thing where, like, maybe two years ago when I had, I don't even know, probably over a million by then, closer to three years ago, I would just, like, buy as much ammo as I wanted, like, thousands of rounds per gun, so I would just never have to buy ammo again, but I sort of switched around to I want to see how much money I can get in this game. So now I don't buy just ridiculous amounts of ammo, because, like, take a look at the 454 here. I've got 1,433 rounds for it. I bought those many years ago, and we don't use it anymore. So it was just kind of like a bunch of wasted money. As a speaking fact, what did I miss? Let me find them here. Hot tub stream for 300k? Um, no such thing. Not, not happening. Just saying... Just killed my second troll, uh. Gemsbuck? Gemsbuck are pretty annoying in that. I still don't have a diamond mail. That's another thing that at some point here I do want to continue to work on. Can you do a Whitetail Deer video or stream soon? I'm sure we'll do something with Whitetail again. Full party 300k. See, Twitch has these categories for such things now, but I don't think that's what we're trying to do. There's a good one. We're never going to get to leave this lake, which is kind of sad. You know what? Better not shoot until we claim this one, because it's going to take us out of render again. I once got a gold buffalo point one away from diamond. Yeah, they, they tend to do that. Cape buffalo especially are pretty notorious trolls. What's your favorite sport? I am a football fan myself. NFL specifically, I, I'm not huge into college. Where are you? It's almost got to be further away than it appears. Because only 75 meters away would have spooked already. So there are plenty of black buck down here. They're just kind of hiding and quite good at staying out of view. Hope this is correct, because it did have the render glitch going on. Should be approximately... Approximately not here. Well, that might be... Oh, there we go. Just spamming E, hoping it would come up. Make being a channel member free for 300k? I, I don't choose like the price for that, it's just set by YouTube. Thought you'd say your favorite sport is hunting? I think that they're kind of in a different category. There's a bunch of them over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move my tent. Because there's two big fours. Well, good to know. Good information. We'll scoot maybe a little closer, because we've already struggled to kill multiple in one herd a couple of times today. Beamer, yes. Got it, Acid. Steelers or Eagles? I'm a Steeler fan. They are more so the hometown team here. 24-hour stream on controller. There would be tiny things that would just casually drive me insane throughout the course of the stream doing it on a controller, and it wouldn't even be what you'd probably expect. It would just be like the ease of opening the map, or I guess like scene transitions and stuff is all done through my keyboard. And having to do that, you know, like set the controller down, reach up, 
tap whatever on the keyboard each time. That would get old real quick. Okay. Uh, what if... Can we call that guy over here? That's at a good angle. Alright, let's try this. I have a plan. Leave me and my fling bush alone. I got no room to talk today, man. I have had speaking strugs throughout. Excuse me. I need you to come into my call. Please and thanks. There we go. Or no, he just turned. I mean, that works too. So if we have that one spotted, because he's way in the brush, and then we kill that one there. I think we finally did it. Nope. I don't know what went wrong there. Somewhere we hit him, I guess, in like the skull. That'll kill him. I don't like using the 303 as much as we are for Black Buck today, but... Kind of... Render glitch drugs. Part of the whole deal. Would definitely rather be sleeping. I'm not gonna sleep well for approximately one more night. That's all I know. Can you get the devs to see about the marksman night vision glitch where it's where it is night vision? I don't know what you mean. I've shot over 500 Euro Rabbits on the grind and still no diamond or rares. There's Melanistic, unless you're not counting um, Melanistics as rares, because they're really not rare, but there's Melanistics everywhere. Like, I can go on Hirsch and kill a Melanistic Euro Rabbit within like three servers, almost without, without a doubt. I wonder if there's a difference there between console and PC though. What's up, Tux? Go figure. The more difficult shot to make in there was the one that we got. One went somewhere this direction. Shouldn't have gotten far. Rocky should be able to find that. There it is. On the weekend, I caught my PB Pike. Nice, dude. Ugly, uneven boyo. That's what I don't want for our leucistic. Or melanistic, for that matter. Just give me nice, even gold horns and I'll be happy. What is the render glitch? Essentially, any animal that you shoot that then goes out of your render for any reason. So let's say, like, you shoot a black buck and it's 350 meters away and you run 100 meters the other direction. It's now 450 meters away and beyond your render distance. And what that does is, for some reason makes the black buck's body invisible. Now, you can still claim it, but you have to know exactly where it died at. Otherwise, you just are not going to be able to actually recover it, which is quite annoying. I don't even know why I'm using the... the 243 at this point. It's not... not going to plan. Where are these fours coming from? I don't understand. Not that I'm upset about it. I just don't know how there's so many. One of these guys should be wounded. I don't really know where it is. This poor lake. There's all the hunting pressure. Maybe we should just stop. <laughs> I think we deleted this zone already. Maybe we should call that good. Do you know when the new map comes out? There's no release date yet for Rancho del Arroyo. One of these guys we dropped, like, in here with the 303, I th thought. Pretty sure. We'll get Rocky on the case. What do you like better, streaming on YouTube or Twitch? I think I like the streams on Twitch a little bit better because they're a little slower. Now that said, I do like on YouTube that I get to talk to like more of you guys and there's different names on both platforms so it is nice just to you know get to see I guess a high number of people getting to answer more questions interact with 
you know, more of you guys. All that's good. But I guess it's a little more chill generally on Twitch, and that I do quite like. Okay, there's two dead here. Rocky's on the trail of one. I swear there's another one dead behind us. I, unless we claimed it and I forgot about it, I thought we dropped one, excuse you, like right in here. I don't know. I get the feeling the one that Rocky's trailing for us is kinda gonna run really far. Yeah. Probably render glitch and not gonna recover it anyway, so maybe we'll go somewhere else despite the fact that this lake has been quite kind to us. I hear you, Rocky. We're going somewhere else. Finally match my Twitch username, my YouTube username. That certainly makes life a little easier for, you know, recognition in such things. Got some mule deer over there. One singular female black buck. A lot of times, another female black buck. A lot of times backing up from this tent does reveal a male black buck uh, drinking around here. Female tracks. Uh, yeah, there's a male track there. But the question is, where exactly does he drink in relation to the tent? Because I'm pretty sure that's our issue. That's probably him. Kind of in a weird spot. I think we can slot that shot between the trees, though. How many hours do you have in the game? Give me one second here. Not enough to lung shot a black buck, let me tell you. <laughs> These have been ridiculous strugs. Bet we didn't hit that. Nope. Uh, 4,349. Hours in Call the Wild, by the way. Hey, thank you, Landon. May I ask why we're hunting black bucks? Um, there's a thing, it's in the main... Well, like the main room on the left, in the trophy lodge. I've had a melanistic and leucistic black buck up there for a really long time, and they're the legacy horns with the new scoring system. The leucistic is a gold, but it's a small gold, and with the old legacy horns, it's, it's really tiny looking, especially compared to the gold true horns. So I really want to get a leucistic and a melanistic um, black buck with true horns, and the only way that I see we're going to do that is by grinding them. At some point I might hit parquet multiplayer, but there are seriously few servers out there compared to what there used to be. I think people just, you know, prefer the newer maps. You know, I, I gotta say, I said, ooh, excuse me, Max Track? How do these guys hide from me? I guess he was sort of behind the thing. Anyway, considering at least what I've seen as far as the number of times that question has been asked, I, I thought it's been okay. Walking... Surely we spooked him out of here. Very fresh. He had to be like right behind the other one. That or he doesn't actually... No, his drink zone was there. Very old. Now it's going the other way. I say we'll come back for that one. It'll be a little easier. Uh... I guess we could go up here. We haven't done anything up here yet. This has been a little bit all over the place. It's funny how, like, <laughs> our shots have been quite subpar, but yet we've killed a ton of black buck. Um, that's a little concerning, Hunter Man. Hopefully things are okay. Think I'd have to yell for people to listen. I could yell in my pinned comment. Kyla, Kyla would delete my pinned comment if I put it in caps though just saying I don't think that's can you remove a message from me is that a thing I don't think so I don't think you can mod other mods all right that's a nice looking four they're both right about the range that we should be able to do this but I just I have negative confidence right now I don't know what it is just not shooting good 
Okay. Stand right about here. Is that melanistic? No. Surely not. It looks super dark to me. Like, I don't... I think it's the brush hiding the white on his, uh... His belly? No, he's definitely common. And yeah, for once we actually made the shots. I guess just getting further away is the move here. Buffering at 144p. No good. You're just gonna have to move to get better on internet. That's, uh... It's the only solution. That's what I did, you know? Another decent four. It's good to see the response here have been good size. I have a Diamond Mela and Piebald Harlequin Duck. Nice, dude. Which hair is in the multi-mount with Red Fox? It's actually the Whitetail Jackrabbit for some reason. Why there's not one with the European Rabbit, I have no idea. Like, they're on the same map on Urshfelden, but... Those were just recently added, so I guess I get it. Are you in multiplayer? Nah, just run around in single player today. A little easier to, you know, reset the time and all that kind of stuff in single player than multi. Okay, one is dead up the hill. Yeah, Kyla? Fave map was Te Auruo, but now it's annoying. What is your favorite map, then? Michaela, thanks for becoming a channel member, by the way. I thought this was an even one, and if it was going to be Melanistic, I was going to be excited. It was a dark fur type, but it's still a down even horn, so it just made me sad. Anyway, uh, Michaela, if you're not in the Discord already, make sure you join that and link up your YouTube to get the member role and take advantage of the good stuff that comes along with that. I appreciate you. She can hear me. No way. I got two diamond mallards in the same group. I don't know if I've ever done that. I guess I did actually when they were super common, but... I don't know if I've ever done that since they were, you know, kind of balanced. Been on Yukon a lot. I know you've been chasing Red Fox a bit. I've been somewhat trying to determine if you held off chasing Red Fox because you didn't want to kill one before me and make me <laughs> descend into a pit of darkness and despair. What is this Troy Polamalu thing? I missed something, clearly. But it has caught my eye. Where was that fella? It was... Right there. Facing the wrong way, but we can probably 22 strat that one. Something just ran to our left. He is alarmed. I don't care for that. And now he's dead, which I do care for. I was just checking, Kyla. I wasn't sure if you were maybe trying to be kind. Any tips on how to get diamonds for a new player? Generally, hunt around water and... Uh, I would say, like, shoot all your mails to try to get respawns in single player. If you're bored of single player, go to multiplayer and, once again, hunt around water. Oh, Palomalo is the best stealer of all time? He's... I don't even know about top 10. They have... It's so hard to compare eras. That's what makes it tough. But he's definitely high on the list. Oh, that's what you said. High on the list. Who would be ranked as the best of all time? Joe Green, probably. I think that's generally the kind of consensus. I want to say, as a defensive tackle, he actually came up with the defensive scheme that kind of, or at least the frontline scheme that led to the whole Steel Curtain dominance. 
Dwayne Haskins will be the greatest dealer of all time when it's all said and done. Yes. Do you think that the 7mm is one of the best guns? I would say it is the best base game gun without a doubt. And even when including DLC weapons, it's certainly in the conversation. All these uneven horns is freaking me out if we ever do kill a melanistic that's big enough, or a leucistic for that matter, it's gonna be uneven again. I didn't think there were that many uneven ones, but almost none of them match. I said you agree, and that's who I was thinking. I mean, when you look back at, you know, that period of dominance, he was like the, for one, the thing that I just mentioned there as far as, there's another big four, oh dear, uh, like he helped to like invent that defensive scheme, but he also sort of exemplified it in his play. Don't think there's any anything wrong with ranking him number one. What guns are we rocking today? We're running with the 454 for Water Buffalo, 303 for kind of like, you know, you already read your stuff. Uh. 243 is our Black Buck gun, and 22 for ducks, and I guess for 22 strats reasons. Michaela, thank you for the super chat as well. Followed you for some time and always look at your videos, so I thought it was time to be a member. Well, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And uh, like I said, if you're uh, not in the Discord already, make sure you link that stuff up over there to get the good stuff that comes along with the membership. Uh, Isaac as well, thank you for the super chat. Do you watch baseball? If so, which team? Uh, I watch the Pirates with the with my hands over my eyes, usually. Now, I don't, I don't really follow it. I watched um, a tiny bit of one game, which they lost anyway but I can't remember who they even played. It was the game of the week like two weeks ago. Whatever that was, I watched that one. We'll take that. They did a good bit of that acid and they had, he recently died I think. They had a scalp which um, Hi. What you doing? <laughs> Guys like Joe Green, Lin Swan, um, John Stallworth. I can't believe I just made that shot. Uh, he had a lot to do with their, um, you know, getting drafted. And I think he might be in the Steelers' ring of honor. Is that what they call it? I'm pretty sure he's already there. Jedediah, thank you for the super chat. Does it matter if you kill males in single or multiplayer on your map? Does it affect respawns? Also, I watched you forever uh, first live stream. Well, thank you, man. It shouldn't really matter. And actually, if you're in multiplayer, the nice thing that can happen... Now, bear in mind, there's a couple of potential negatives, but the nice thing that can happen is other players shooting animals will get your respawns as well. Like, uh, you can do your thing. Go and hunt whatever you want and get respawns. And while you're doing that, anyone else hunting on your map Anything they shoot, you're also going to get a respawn for. But remember, they also might kill a diamond on your map, which is, you know, whatever, that's going to happen. But they could delete your zones by shooting too many of any one animal in an area. Again, that's not a huge deal, but if it's something you really care about, you know, keep an eye on such things as that. Good shot. Thank you, Landon. Do you think there will be a stream tomorrow due to all the stuff that's been going on? Uh, free W, I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know who might be a part of it, but I, I would certainly think they're going to stream. Kyle is not human. Don't don't say that out loud. She doesn't want anybody to know. Uh. Robot. Yes, exactly. Um, movable keep it. Thank you for the super chat. Does the game ever get boring? At times it gets, I'll say monotonous. There's still stuff that I want to accomplish in the game. Like, the, I still want to get the two rare black buck. I've mentioned a couple of times. I want an albino gold Sika deer. Two more rare reindeer for sure. Uh, male diamond against buck. Like, there's certain trophy animals that I've been striving, striving to get. And the nice thing about it is, when it comes to, you know, those sorts of trophies, every time a new map gets added, something else ends up on that list. Like, I mentioned the albino secret deer that I want to get. 
that is obviously the most recent map edition that has, you know, put it on my list. So there's always new stuff being added, but when the game does get monotonous and maybe there's nothing I specifically want to go and target, I'll usually switch it up with weapons or, you know, bow hunt. Just do something completely different, and it always ends up being a good time anyway. Dating a robot confirmed. Well. Slap me with a hard drive. <laughs> Favorite wild game meat tea? I really haven't gotten to try as many as I, you know, would like to answer this question, but elk is definitely really high on the list, if not my favorite. Now, I eat a ton of venison every year. Um, the thing is, a lot of people will say, like, venison's not that good, or, you know, maybe it's not nearly on the tier of even beef, but we cut ours with, I don't know what the percentage is, maybe 10 to 15 beef fat, and it turns out really good, so I quite like it that way. Just got Quattro, any advice on how to get more diamonds? Um, I would say generally just like, the Ibex on that map are really good, so 8 to 11, <laughs> their drink time, spend some time hunting them. And then, like any other map, the lakes are the places to be to find animals, so I'd be on lakes. Uh, Jedediah, thank you again, by the way. Best map for Red Deer? Would probably say... For me, it's Parquet, and the reason is the other species on the map. If you really want just the best Red Deer map, it's probably Quattro. Um, Teawaroa seems quite good as well, but their drink time is kind of... not so good. But, yeah. The nice thing about Red Deer on Parquet, their morning drink time 5 to 9, you'll also see Axis Deer drinking, you'll see um, Puma's drinking, and like right after they're done, Black Buck and Mule Deer drink. And then you go to their evening drink time, you have Axis Deer and Black Buck once again. So there's a lot of other stuff there, whereas the other maps, just at least for me, the other species that you may encounter just simply aren't as fun to hunt. So. I don't care for it as much. Do it, Acid. I'm supposed to have a baseball game today, but we're getting rained out. I looked forward to games getting rained out way more than I should have when I played in high school. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> didn't didn't turn out how it was supposed to. How many hours do you have in this game right now? 4,350 actually we just hit. Pretty cool. Moving right along. When uh, when Kyla was here the first time, when was that? March? Middle of March, so in three months, 350 hours? That's not even that many. Like I guess the fact that I've been away for a bit of that would be a portion of it, plus all the throwback games have taken some hours away. I have heard actually that Gar is quite good, Hunter Man. Maybe I'll get to try it. Ooh, it's like 12 o'clock. I guess after this reset, we'll go and check that area down in the bottom right. What's going on, Didi? Thanks for becoming a channel member, man. I appreciate you. I'm sure you know the deal with uh, linking everything up in Discord for such things, but thank you so much, dude. Hope things are going well. We have to we have to work our way through that, Kyla. Probably sooner rather than later to establish all things, but like I was saying, as far as my whole situation, that's more than doable for me. It's bad when you know a level five fellow is gonna troll and you still have hope that it's diamond and you just get disappointed. They are kind of annoying. I don't like species that have those score gaps because you almost never get a 230 fallow deer you'll get like the 260s and 220s rarely you get a 250s send it lucky like we're sending it through a black box longest 
busy stock in the level 9 wolf. Hopefully he makes diamond for you. Is that only a 3? I thought I saw a big uh, mule deer back in there. Alright. Go and get this guy and then we got about 30 yeah. minutes. We're pretty well on schedule for the moment. Um, Didi, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Should have done that a long time ago. Glad I can now. Well, thank you, dude. Is that... Hold on. What is that emote? It's a deer. Okay. It kind of looked like a fox. I was trying to... I think I, you guys can tell what's on my mind. But anyway, really appreciate you, dude. Like I said, hope things are going well. Tips on Puma or Lion? Uh, it depends on which one you want to go after. They're kind of entirely different, but I guess in either case, hunt their drink time. We the big thing. So Lion, 12 to 1500. Puma, 6 to 9 AM. What map are we most likely to not lose our 10 on? We'll try Quattro. Just switching back and forth real quick. Again, to explain why I'm doing this, it's similar to quitting to desktop and then uh, going back like into the game. It seems to trigger respawns, so by going to Quattro, for some reason my tents seem to stay despite the glitch. And now we can come back and there should be proper respawns. I should have been smart enough to change the time first, but you know, other than that. What do we got? 33 minutes, so if we go... Go all the way to 9.30, we should be good. Make sure we got time. Things are going well, good to hear, man. The things I do to try to mod even when I struggle. I appreciate you, Kylo. Your effort does not go unnoticed. Fried deer meat in flour and lemon pepper like the backstrap? You know the odd thing with backstrap, we almost only ever have it one way now. My dad does like a bacon wrapped stuffed backstrap thing. It's really good, but I haven't had it any other way in like several years. I don't even take the backstraps from the deer I shoot. I leave them with my parents and then whenever I go there every now and then we have that. All right, I want to go somewhere first to look for Black Book before we go and see what that max weight one was. You know, we've not been down here yet today. Let's give this spot a visit. Putting in for a raise after this. We'll have to discuss the terms and conditions of your contract. Gonna shower, no worries, Tux. Are egg white wolves rare? They're just uncommon. Top three favorite DLC maps. Okay, so I can't count Leighton. I won't count Rancho del Arroyo just based on opinions, but the species make me wonder if it could end up being a top three for me. So then, I'm gonna say Verhunga, Silver Ridge Peaks. Let me look here. Maybe Yukon. I really gained a different perspective on Yukon with all the time we spent there hunting Red Fox. It just felt like for a long time we really didn't kill anything that special. And I mean, you could get level three or rare ducks. Like that happened kind of often. But we started killing like bison and wolves, caribou, like a lot of other trophy species that I was quite pleased to stumble into. Steeler was gonna miss Bud Dupree. I'm gonna miss Bud Dupree. He's one of my favorite players. I just got a uh, TJ Watt jersey. Was that for Christmas? I think so. Pretty sure. I would have been really upset if that was the outside linebacker they parted with. Now, obviously, he's a little more the star of the show there, so it would have been pretty wild if they did, but still. Bud was a good player. It's going to... I think he'll help Tennessee, but I'm not sure what they're going to do to fill that hole. I see no black buck here. We killed one here last time, and that was it, so I'm not too surprised by that, but... Maybe we'll go and visit the other lake. I know on occasion I get them there. It does just, again, it gives other ones time to move into their zone. Do you have a dog in real life? I do not, like Kyla said. Not yet. I'll go into playing. I would have one by now. But uh, multiple things have sort of prevented that. I can't have one in my apartment here, but I was hoping to 
be moved out by now. Just circumstances, you know, have not allowed for such things. You agree with that as the top three? Is Layton your favorite? I'm I'm genuinely curious. Because for me, it's it's all about, like, antlers and stuff. And I know from, you know, years of classic and such things, you're probably in a similar kind of boat there. I'm a Dolphins fan. It was really hard to watch Mika leave, but I was happy he ended up in Pittsburgh. Uh, <laughs> he made such a huge impact. The entire city of Pittsburgh has certainly welcomed him with open arms, but he's definitely a favorite on that defense as well for me. That said, the, the Dolphins, I don't know what they did with that particular draft pick, but they have made something out of their team ever since letting literally everybody go. Finally, another Dolphins fan. Do you like hunting or fishing more? Definitely hunting. Uh, I don't tend to ever fish to keep them. It's, it's more of just like something to go and do and relax and have fun. You know, catch and release. Whereas hunting has that final, you know, reward of sitting around the kitchen table with it. Let's not talk about Minka. Let's let's talk about that time that he intercepted Ryan Fitzpatrick twice in uh, his return to Miami or possibly just return to face the team. I can't remember what uh, home or away what that was. I thought that was quite entertaining. Although the Dolphins would have won anyway, except for they just had the most bizarre zero blitz there at the end of the half. I don't know what that was. Ridiculous. How do you think the Saints will do without Drew? You know, it's so hard to judge because backup quarterbacks in the last couple of years have done really well with the Saints, but it's different when you kind of... Like, there wasn't much film on the backup quarterbacks for any of the other teams, but Jameis or Taysom Hill, whoever ends up starting week one and then going forward... They're going to have film more and more and more, and teams are going to be able to more properly game plan for them. I don't think they're going to be, you know, where they have been, but I also, I think they'll be relevant around Thanksgiving and then likely kind of fade. I said let's not talk about that, but, 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 why not? This is not meant to, um, by the way, like, bring up some kind of sadness. What happened with the Dolphins and their playoff hopes? Did they need somebody to lose? Because I remember, like, the whole, uh, you know, Fitzpatrick getting his head ripped off and through that ridiculous completion down the sidelines. I forget. Did they get in and get knocked out? I don't even know. What's up, Carmine? Thank you, Caden. It's different when it's Jameis Winston. Approximately, you know, 20 interceptions more level of different. Now, I think Jameis will be okay. I think under... Uh. Why can't I think of his name? Not Sean McVay. Help me. Why? What is his name? I just said it a minute ago. Why can't I get past Sean McVay? Somebody help. What's his name? <laughs> The Saints head coach. I'll get there. Maybe I won't. I'm gonna wait because it's killing me. Um, David, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Uh, keep up the amazing work, and hello from Vancouver Island. That's a pretty cool place. What do you think about an airbow for Call of the Wild? I don't know what that is. Sean Payton, thank you. <laughs> God, that was terrible. I knew it was a Sean, but just McVeigh was like, the only name that would come into my head. Anyway, to go back to that, I think, you know, Jameis won't be as mistake prone and interception prone in McVeigh's, not McVeigh, Peyton's offense. Help me. <sighs> I'm going to blame that on the fact that I'm tired. Not the fact that I'm dumb. Anyway... I think if he ends up getting the start, I wouldn't be shocked if Taysom Hill does because he's kind of Sean Payton's, uh, you know, little project quarterback. I think he'll be alright. 
What do I think about Aaron Rodgers? That whole situation is bizarre. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm intrigued to find out because it doesn't seem like either side is really willing to budge here. I think Rodgers should just hold out for a year, right? Roethlisberger can... They're probably not going to win the Super Bowl, but just for the heck of it. Right off into the sunset and win the Super Bowl. And then Pittsburgh just signs Rodgers, transitions right into that for like five years. It's not going to happen, but... So sweet, Kyla. Not dumb. <laughs> just a little bit, a little bit stupid. Are the slow messages to prevent spam? Yeah, they, they prevent immediate spam, which is quite nice. Pittsburgh versus Miami AFC Championship game? Was that the... There, there was a year... It was the year the of the Immaculate Reception. Wasn't that like the divisional round game? It's probably the last time they've... No, they faced off in the playoffs like five years ago. And it wasn't even close, but... That would be cool. I'd be down to watch that. Alright, Mr. Max Weight Blackbuck, where you at? I don't even know why that guy's walking away from us. The Bears are going to win it this year. What's his name? Justin Fields. Going to come in there and change the culture. Maybe. What's the rarest yeah. animal you've killed? Uh, it almost has to be the great one. It, it's so hard to really, you know, quantify each rare animal, but it's got to be the great one. Um, Hector, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Wednesday got LASIK surgery means more completions and a Super Bowl win for my Saints. Uh, that or less. We'll see. His completion percentage hasn't been bad, though. He was just very mistake prone. I think Sean Payton's going to, you know, shake that out of him. What is the way to go about this? We know he drinks. Oh, he's right there. Never mind. Just a four. Lots of fours today. Other guys, where? Somewhere behind the trees, I guess. I'm tired of doing laundry. Just, you know, take it out of the dryer. Kind of, you know, make it into a little clothing ball, toss it in the corner. It'll be fine. I did see Scarecrow's gold medal in his Hikawaii and I'm quite jealous. I know he's got more kills than me total in his Great One grind anyway. Or multiple Great One grinds, you could almost say. But, uh, I never killed a single Melanistic and all that. And I wish I had. As to the only thing is, I watch literally every, uh, every Steelers game, like, with my dad and my parents, so I'm not sure how that would go. What is happening today with these frontal shots? Am I rocking the soft point bullets by accident? Surely not. No. So many strugs. How dare Scarecrow not say hi in chat today? Why can't... Kylo, what's the name of the... Oh, Joe. It's a very easy name. Like, literally the most <laughs> stereotypical I need a name for a male human name. I could be like Joe from the show we're watching. Do the laundry, cook, you know, it's fun. Browns will win the Super Bowl? I'll tell you what, I've been saying I believe it when I see it for a long time as far as them being good. I think I can be to the point where I believe that they have a chance. I'm just, they're the Browns, and I have, I can't connect Browns and Super Bowl just yet. What's up, all the above? This right here, if this if we could get these horns for a leucistic or a melanistic, I would be the happiest lad. Other one didn't die yet. I guess we'll let it go. I don't so much care for our shooting strugs, but it's fine. Okay. We're going to go and check the south end of this lake again. Are we secretly dating? Yeah, it's definitely not a secret. Definitely not from my end, anyway. Maybe. It's all hidden. My favorite football team is the one who wins. There you go. 
been farming for a diamond blacktail in Leighton, haven't gotten one yet. Is there a really good spot for blacktail? I don't think there's any crazy blacktail hotspots at this point. All the above probably has a blacktail hot map or hotspot map somewhere you could check out. <sighs> I can't think of any crazy spots. By the way, uh, I don't know that it'll ever make it into a video, but we shot a nice albino mule deer here on Friday stream. It was a silver level three, but kind of a cool thing. Snickhead, thank you for the super chat, by the way. The most surprising <laughs> animal you've ever shot? Almost without a doubt, the. I guess, was it the first one I claimed? I don't even remember. Pretty sure. The second one I shot, first one I claimed, of the two diamond European bison out of the same herd. Because the second one just charged me, and I happened to shoot it with a crossbow and drop it. it. Was pure luck. I knew there was one five in there, I was not aware there were two. And back then, you just didn't get diamonds or, you know trophy animals that often, and especially not two in one herd. Somebody else was there as well. Hunter, thank you for the super chat. Do you think there should be the great one, but in different species? 100%. And I think that's like the long-term goal with it. There's been a number of struggles EW's had with the current great ones, and I think that's maybe what's keeping us from seeing more. Black Buck, White Tail, Rodeo, Fallow, Sika in multiplayer or single player. Do... Seek a deer in multiplayer. Get yourself an albino. That's the move. Or shoot fox or wolves like Kylo. Either one. You know. Whatever works. Where is... Oliver Blackbuck? Supposed to be here. This is what I was saying earlier. I've had some weird... Kind of lack of black buck sightings in this area. Like, we saw so many here. We didn't kill enough and we dele didn't delete the zone earlier to where they shouldn't be here, but they're certainly not. I shot an albino deer and it was diamond nice. Which deer species? I was kind of uh, relying on this bot to produce a couple, but we shall go elsewhere. Where else can we go? We can go back up through here. It produced a ton. Yeah, that's probably the move. Got rid of most of the pressure there. I'm level 61. Uh, I'm not going to say that's definitely illegitimate, but I've never heard of any bug that makes you go past level 60, so I'm kind of assuming there's something going on there. There you go, Tux. Uh. How do you find moose? Um, again, I'm actually going to reference all the above. If you check out his channel, he just made a moose guide recently. I'd go and give that a look. Hunter, thank you again, by the way. Thank you for the super chat. One more thing, who <laughs> dat go saints? I'd like to see them do well, but the reason that I've had any sort of like, you know, well wishes for them in the past has been for Drew Brees, so I'm not even sure where I fall on the whole, you know, level of hoping for their success. Depends on who they play, I guess. That would be cool, Tux. I have an NFL guarantee for you. Two teams will play. Entire season gets canceled because of COVID. No teams play. Hunter main lies. Better not. I, will, I, I won't know what to do on Sundays in the fall. I'm already... I keep on forgetting, but... Uh, we're going to have to switch up the Sunday streams once football season starts. Hello there. This is precisely why I have the 454 today. If I can aim, that would be pretty cool. Just to deal with these guys. Te Aurua 1400. Seek a deer, I think, just started feeding, so it won't be too bad. Bangles are trash. They might be alright with Joe Burrow in there. We'll see. 
wish Rodgers would have gone to the Broncos. It sounded like that might happen. Who did you guys end up with? Bridgewater, right? I think. And then whatever the young kid is. Drew Locke? Pretty sure. I do, that's not what I meant, Hunter, man. It's not. It's not what I meant. NBA team? I've never watched more than like five minutes of basketball in my life. I don't... I played it more than I've ever watched it. I just don't care for rooting forward to watching it, personally. If I had to pick a team... I don't even know. We don't have a local one. Yeah, I don't know. Celtics, they have a nice green color. <laughs> I have nothing to go off. Um, Eric, thank you for the super chat. What do you want the next great one to be? Mule Deer, if I could... Uh, if I could choose. I think a great one Mule Deer would be a ton of fun to go after. Cindy. Almost added acid. We need Mahomes and Rodgers in the same division. Yeah, that matchup. You'd basically have it three times a year barring injuries. Because both teams are going to make the playoffs probably. And fairly often they'd probably end up battling that out. That would be a lot of fun. There's another nice four. We've seen a bunch of big ones today. Just can't quite crack a five. And of course, again, that's not really the goal here, but it certainly would be nice. Little bonus things. Um, okay, I like this better than going the other way. One there. It's another four. Don't know. You guys were doing so good coming this way. Probably going to delete zones, but that's the last buck remaining. Gonna get down over the hill, though. Oi. Scope. Strugs. Dang it. I think I was going to get away. We better leave it, actually. The amount of hunting pressure here, I think we're good. Still half asleep? I, I just thought it was funny. Cindy. So close. Ew. <laughs> I don't care for the two different horn colors on Black Buck. I'd... I really hope when we get some decent sized rares that they are even. Where was. There's one up here. Yeah, Lung Blood here, and then we're good. That wouldn't be a bad deal, Tux. Uh, Snake, I thank you again, by the way. If they had more great ones, do you think they'll be like the old diamonds but rarer? Like the. When you say, like the old diamonds, do you mean the spawn rate? Like the amount you find them? Or... I'm not quite sure exactly what you're getting at there, but... Yeah, I mean, roughly. Or do you mean legacy racks? Could be that too, I guess. Would you rather shoot a huge whitetail IRL or a huge moose IRL? Questions like that, I answer them through like the lens of what am I less likely to be able to do without, you know, this hypothetical situation coming true. I feel like I can manage to get maybe not a huge whitetail, but at least a good sized whitetail at some point in my life. But a huge moose isn't super likely for me, so I'll say moose just because I think I could get a whitetail to fit the bill there. Okay, that was a lung. Where are other such creatures? That's not going to help our case at all. I know there's another buck in there. I saw it. Yeah, there he is. And the puma's going to mess with those. Oh my. They're everywhere again. One there. Dead one there. Yeah, run that way. I like it. Do that. More of this, please and thanks. Somehow we've been good and not deleted zones too. I'm proud of that. 
Do I think it's a good idea to run the river? Uh, at the time you have, that's probably exactly what I'd be doing. I would say yes. Okay, so one here. One that drops roughly somewhere right in front of us, right there. Am I able to apply for mod only? Um, I don't have, like, you know, mod applications or whatever. I'm also not really looking for YouTube mods at the moment. We're pretty alright. Generally with that, uh, it's the kind of thing where when it starts to feel like chats are getting too much to handle for the current amount of mods, then I kind of start to look for others. Did it? Oh. Yeah, Puma just sent them all running. Lame. They're small, but still lame. Ugh. God. Gross. Why do they look that way? I don't like it. Before YouTube, did you have any other jobs? I don't know if technically this is legal, but I started working at like 14 on a farm. Like, I mean, I guess it's legal, but it's one of those... It's not like legally a job, I guess, because it was like paid in cash and all that sort of thing. But yeah, I worked on a farm for a couple of years. I worked in actually the dish room of the college that I attended for like 12 minutes before I dropped out couple of like other small odd jobs but yeah the the farm one was the most interesting certainly and I say interesting because my the things that I was required to do at said job were not fun excuse me did he just... he totally slowed down right when we shot. To be expected, I guess. Some better ones in there. That was probably vertebrae. I don't know what to do about this herd. They're in a really tough spot to, like, properly grind. It is a vertebrae shot. We'll sort of do the same thing we did last time. We'll go over there. If we spot more that we can shoot along the way, fine, so be it. If not... We'll be happy with what we have there. Yeah, probably tucks. Are there different Great One Racks? There's probably been... Six or seven that I've seen posted. Maybe more? What did I say, Kylo? I don't recall. Uh. Yes, the amount we find them? Yeah, probably. I'd say they're going to be considerably more rare than old diamonds. I missed a 2 acid, apparently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what you mean. About the stuff that I was required to do there, I just meant. <laughs> I guess I'll clarify now so people can get their minds in a good spot. Um... Like, uh, technically the lady's employing us, so I guess, you know, do whatever she says. But we were employed to, like, work on the farm, but on occasion it was just like, go clean my garage. Go, uh, cut the grape. Uh. What, what are those things called? Like the little, like a vine thing, but there's like a, a frame that helps hold them up. Go trim all that stuff, like random knots really related to the farm jobs, but, you know. Thank you, Didi, for the super chat, by the way. Farming is tough work, that it is, but it certainly will humble you. No worries, Zach. No worries yes, on a diamond today, no diamonds to this point. Probably not going to get one unless um, the next spot we go to has one, because we only have about five minutes. And I don't even know where the next spot we go to is going to be. We haven't checked here. Maybe this will be the spot. My mind is never in a good spot. Fair enough. Trestle, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Or trellis? Trellis sounds more correct now that I'm reading both. There are a couple over there. Small males, but we can take those. They're the only ones. 
which uh, they appear to be. Okay, how far wherever that was? I don't like our angle. Sadly, I got a piece out. I won't be too far behind you. We're probably gonna kill these two black buck and I don't know. In all likelihood, this is gonna be the last couple of kills because unless we have time to fast travel to one more spot, and then the thing is, if there's even anything at that spot, if we would, we're barely gonna have time. I hope that was a long shot. That was, and that was. Nice. Got trolled by a springboard, a springbuck. Autocorrect is full of surprises. That wasn't there a second ago. Odd. Springbuck are annoying trolls, though. I gotta say, there's not a ton of level 5 springbuck out there, but every now and then, you manage to find one, and it's a troll. Do you think they'll add a lodge soon? Or about do. It's been November 2019 is when Saseka Safari came out. I hope they intend to add another one. I'd buy it. Switch map? Uh, I mean, we're literally ending the stream in like four minutes. Might as well stay here. Where to? I'm looking at other potential, like quick, fast travel, shoot a black box spots. Not a ton of options. It could happen, Tux. We've clutched many a diamond this year already in the last like five minutes of the stream. Still my favorite was the moose back in January though. We tracked it for like 30 minutes, but then right as the stream was supposed to end, it just ran right to us and we hard shot it. It was great. Cries and 12 troll black bucks in a row. Spring bucks, same thing. Do you have one on the new system? I assume you do. Let's stay on forever. I got a run to my parents here shortly after the stream, get a couple of things, get some stuff squared away, and get ready to fly to Georgia here in like less than 24 hours. Okay. Making things happen. Where at? Maybe here. The moose was the definition of clutch. It's one of my favorite, favorite like stream kills and shots. When's the next live? I think I'm gonna stream the day I get back. Or the day after I get back. So Tuesday the 29th, because I'm not gonna be here Monday. I'm thinking to stream on Tuesday sort of make up for that. Well that's new. That's actually a big one. Uh first time we've seen that many black buck over there. I have a plane, unless there's a good one that spawned up here again. Tons of mule deer. But no black buck. Alright. Tough shot to make, admittedly. But, if we can smoke him there at 300, which I think we can. I've shot many a red fox with this gun. We'll just take the ATV over. Well. Shot over him twice. Was that not 300? Maybe we misranged that. How far is it? No, it's 300. Huh. Well, in that case, maybe we can get that one? I think we actually shot too low on that one. That, this went 12 degrees of wrong. Hold on. Saving it, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Let's see if that's a lung. If it is, that would be amazing. Oh, it is. Easy. Uh, he's probably going to go out of render, which, um, you know. It's not really a good thing, but if the hunting pressure appears, which it did, we'll have to we'll have to run it on foot. Because if we go even back to the lodge, there's a much higher chance he goes out of render. The fact that the pressure appeared does mean that we'll get the respawn, even if we don't actually claim him. But we'll give it a look. Do you enjoy the Hunter Classic or Call of Wild? I enjoy them both. Is it just me, or are the piebald wild boar and the common female too similar in classic? I think they're different enough. The piebalds have pretty noticeable, like, kind of splotches. 
Uh, no, Amir. The, the differences are just the DLCs that come along with the game. If you want literally all the DLCs, then you want to get the 2021 version, but if you grab the 2020 version, you can add on whatever DLCs you want. There's 454 watching, gotta shoot the 454. Do I have to shoot like an animal with it? Because there's nothing here. Shooting trees. <laughs> Bye, go get your money and go on vacation while I work my whole life. I mean, you know, depends on what you want to do with such a life as far as how much work you put in, but. When it comes to YouTube vacations, I find it odd how that works, because I can take off whenever I want, but I also, in order to prep videos, I have to work twice as much like the week before just to get to that point. No worries, Amir. When do you think the new DLC comes out, uh, Rancho del Arroyo? I'm gonna guess, well, I hope I'm right, uh, around a week from now? If I'm incorrect, then I have made a grave error in my calculations of when to fly to Georgia, but I'm guessing we're a little bit away yet. Have a nice time in Georgia. Good night from England. Have a good night, man. And it was pretty late over there. Rancho will come out in September or August. Now nah, we got the reveal and stuff. It can't be that far away. I can't possibly see that. They should add Bigfoot. I mean, it would be interesting. I'll give you that. Nope. We hit him way too high. First thing I got into hunting down my first diamond. Can you give me any tips? I would generally say hunt near water. Um, and... Yeah, if, if you're targeting a certain species, hunt their drink time and shoot every male you can in single player. If you're just looking for a diamond of any kind, probably like Te Aorua or Quattro Cleanus Multiplayer will get you one pretty quick. Thank you, Amir. What map would you recommend? Is one to go and hunt right now? Maybe... Maybe Verhunga. That was my other maybe map today. I had a bunch that I was considering doing. They need an animal larger than a class 9. Does anything really exist as like a game animal larger than a water buffalo? Where's this guy? Excuse me? Well, I have no idea. Anyway. Just joining at the last minute. We're literally going to probably not claim the black buck that we shot. I'm pretty sure we will have lost him to the render glitch, but I want to go and look. He was a good size four. And again, uh, we will get the respawn for him because the hunting pressure appeared. You don't have to claim him now, apparently, but it would be nice to get to actually pick him up wherever he actually dropped at. There's blood there. We weren't too much... Uh, closer than 400 meters from this point. Yeah, he had to have. We can spam the E key and see if we manage to pick him up, but it's not incredibly likely. Won't be live for about a week. True, true. Alright, should be right about here. No E key. No luck. Yeah, I don't know. Like, really, I'm not even sure if they die out of render, if they're even there anymore. Not getting nothing, though. Anyway, like I said, we'll get the respawn. Hopefully he'll turn into a 5, and you know, if we can get super lucky, he'll turn into a rare 5, because that was the whole deal with trying to get rares. But anyway, that is going to do it for the stream, and once again, I will say this for anybody that wasn't here earlier. Uh, the next week, I'm not going to get the stream either here or on Twitch. I'm going to be in Georgia, so there's still going to be videos every single day. Just no live streams, so, uh, you know, if you're sitting there on Twitch or on YouTube waiting for a stream to pop up, um, you know, no, uh, no streams. So, just be aware of that. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for hanging out, thanks for all the support, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!